guys and gals, and every here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something me on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Kingsguard, Leandros' Path. So, y'all, yeah, before we jump into it, just want to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server, and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> Jake, were, were you trying to. Not even he could finish that sentence. Admit it. What was done was done. There was no sense in hiding it. No sense in staying silent or running away. The Andres was perceptive. He couldn't even lie about this if he wanted to. And as strange as it was to you, as frightened as you were, you almost wanted to come clean. To release what was likely years of emotions building up inside of you. You stared back at him with determination in your eyes. He looked so confused, so caught unaware by your action, you almost felt sorry. It was time to tell the truth. Leon, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. I don't know how to explain this, but I love... You bit down hard on your tongue. You were almost certain you were bleeding. A storm of butterflies fluttered in your stomach as you suddenly shook with apprehension. You never knew how hard it could be to just say three short words. But these words carried such deep meaning, such deep consequences that you knew once said could never be taken back. You took a deep breath, gritted your teeth, and clenched your fists. If you were to overcome this fear, you would need to shout it out so loud that even the gods in heaven would hear. Leandros, I look. <laughs> Guess it's not time yet. Jake, you. Leandros? Let's, let's head back to the hut. Leandros, wait! Aren't you gonna at least say something? Jake, I. You weren't really sure what you were expecting. Chastisement? Shame? If you're lucky, maybe even acceptance. You're prepared for all that. But Leandris merely remained silent, staring back at you in bewilderment. You wanted to say something. Any, you wanted him to say something. Anything. But silence. Silence was all you were given. I'm sorry, Jake, but I, I just don't know what to say. I need some time to think about this. Jake, are you coming? Listen, I... Go. I'll, I'll be there shortly. Take as much time as you need. This feeling. This emptiness. It was familiar and unwelcome. Yes, it was just like that time so many years ago. That time you gave your heart out to another only for it to be tossed aside. How did I think it would be any different this time? The entire walk... The entire walk you had your head hung low and eyes on the ground and somehow you made your way back to the village. The pool had started to grow cold by the time you got out and the rain quickly turned into a heavy downpour. Yet despite the stormy weather and chill, you never picked up a, picked up pace as you inched your way towards Jaws's hut. As you sit on the porch, you wondered if it would be just you, feel, you wondered if it would just be possible to turn around and hide away somewhere, but he would just seek you out. Thank you. He took several shaky breaths before heading in, on in. As soon as you entered, a roaring fire in the center of the room welcomed you. Though you could feel the heat against your soaking body, it didn't register. Your thoughts were on other things at the moment, like what to say or where you could look to avoid Leandros' gaze. Yet despite the clear distress you were in, Leandros spoke with confidence, as though nothing had happened. Jaws gave us new clothes, if you want, if you want, to get, if you want to get dressed. There was a dry tunic waiting for you lying by the fire. Despite Leandros having his own pair of clothes, he was just in his undergarments. You weren't quite certain if he was teasing you, or maybe he didn't even realize... You kept your eyes to yourself, though. After getting dressed, you took a seat on the other side of the fire and tried to warm your hands. Hmm. Jaws left us some food. Fish, fruits, and vegetables. Jesus Christ! Holy God almighty, look at that thing! Jesus! Okay, I'm gonna have to definitely blur that out. I kept it warm by the fire for you. Thank you. You took what Leandros handed you, but were only able to get a single bite before your stomach started to act up. You felt sick knowing that you would have to wa that you would have to talk about what happened at the pool. Jake, I imagine you aren't feeling very hungry, but you should still eat regardless. I suppose I'm not one to say such things. Leandros stared down at his own food, which he hadn't even touched. God, huh? God, huh? It's my favorite, yet I haven't had it in ages, and yet I can't even think about eating. Jake, do you remember that time I came back from my trip to the wall? I missed eating it so bad that I scarfed it all down with my bare hands in front of everyone. I'll never forget the look on your father's face when you mimicked me. How we both got in trouble for that. 
<laughs> you wanted to laugh along. Lounge was still doing was likely doing his best to cheer you up and lighten the mood. Just like an elephant in the room, it would be pos it would be possible to avoid the lingering issue. I guess there's no point in holding it off. Jake, I won't pretend to say I know that I know what you are going through. So I need to be I need you to be truthful with me so that I can understand. I always thought I always thought I knew you better than you knew yourself, and it's painful clear how just how wrong I was. My oversight led me astray, so I'm not sure what really to say. I never once thought something like this would have come up. So I guess I need to start it off with How long has this been going on? For how long have you, you know? Jake, I'm not here to judge you. I just I need to understand. About a few years now. That long? Um, I mean, I see. Do you know when you started to develop feelings for me? I never really thought about when, it's just... I just realized it all of a sudden. Your eyes glanced up from the fire to look at Leandris, but you only ended up feeling worse. He wasn't that far away. He was never that far away. Yet like the fire that separated the two of you in this tiny hut, you knew you couldn't cross over without burning yourself. But even then, you felt this way all this time? I know that your preference is aligned with men, but still, I'm a beast man. Have you ever been attracted to another to other beastmen before? I You always frequented Rose's Cathedral, but there were beastmen there there were beastmen there, but you never slept with any, did you? At least from what I assume, since I never got the scent of other beastmen on you. There you go. Water time. Hmm. Alright. <clears throat> Why me though? Why beast man? Leandris, I, I'm sorry, but I'm not... I'm not really comfortable talking about this right now. If you don't tell me that I don't know how to respond to this... Jake, I'm just trying to understand. What part of me do you even need to understand? Jake, I... I've said all that needs to be said. What more do you need to know? When someone falls in love, they, they just do. I don't know why I like what I like. I don't know why I'm attracted to you or beast men. I don't even know why I like men. I just do. You're probably thinking something is wrong with me right now, aren't you? Trying to figure me out like some doctor. I'm not some case study. I've already told you everything that needs to be said. So why don't you tell me what you're thinking? Just say that it won't work out. Just say that my feelings are nothing more than a passing phase. I... I... Your throat was so dry from screaming. The salt of overwhelming tears parched your lips. You had no idea it would turn out this way. That you could explode like a glass bomb. Even more so, you didn't expect Leandris to leap across the fire. In a matter of seconds, you were, tra you were wrapped in his embrace and forced into his chest. His mane soaked up your tears and your fists gripped at handfuls of fur. He was likely in pain, from jumping over the fire and from you tugging at his fur. But he made no whimper of pain. He simply held you close. Jake, I... I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to make it seem that way, I just... You don't know how long he held you there. But after his last words, he stayed silent. After you had felt like the last drop of water had left your body through your eyes, you had, you had, to, settle, you had to settle down. You loosened your grip on Leandros. It was unkind of me to question you like that. I didn't consider your feelings. I, I just don't know what to do in a situation like this. You're precious to me, and I love you like you really are my brother. And because of that, I should give you the respect you deserve. Now just took a few moments, likely gathering his thoughts on how to speak to you. When he finally opened his eyes, you could tell that he was ready. Though you knew that what he was going to say, you knew the words about to come from his mouth weren't going to hurt you less. Jake, what you want... I can't give it to you. As harsh as it may seem, the world that you live in isn't the same as other people. You have a duty to commit to your pe to for your people. Sometimes I wish that you weren't born a prince, that you don't have to carry a heavy burden. But I can't just abandon the people of the kingdom. I serve them just as much as I serve you. That includes making sure that you find a suitable queen to rule alongside you and protect the two of you from harm. Lately, though, I failed you at even that. These past few weeks have been nothing short of a disaster, and I can't help but feel it's all my fault. Even now, as you confess to me, I can't give you the answer you desire, and it hurts me to have to turn you down. But you are still young. You have all the time in the world to find someone out there who will stand by your side. And even less so than that, someone who can actually keep you safe from harm. Which is why when we get back to the capital, when all this is over, I'm going to resign. Leandros! Don't stop me, Jake. I've had plenty of time to think about this. I didn't just come to this decision immediately. I'm just not prepared for this kind of responsibility. I'm still too young and inexperienced. I jumped into being your, your Kingsguard without ever truly understanding what that meant. 
Even with my ascension to Captain of the Guard, I knew I wasn't ready. There are plenty of others who are far more qualified. So you're just gonna leave me then? Where will you go? I haven't thought that far ahead yet. I know that you've always looked up to me as a guardian, as a brother. But even I, but even I too am human enough to understand my faults. I'm not leaving because I want to. I'm leaving because I'm doing what's best for you. To hell with that! You think you failed me? You think that just because you make mistakes that you aren't qualified? Look at me, Leandros! Do I look like a king to you? For the God's sake, I'm a mess! But even then, I'm still trying. I'm trying to do what the best that I can. You're always pushing me to do the right thing, and here you are giving up? It's not fair. You turned me down, and now I hear that you're going to leave me? I honestly don't know what feels worse. If father is gone, I don't know what happened to Marilyn and Esther. Everyone I've ever loved or cared for feels like they're slowly drifting away. You are all I have, Leandros. And even if I can't have you like my heart desires, to have you by my side, that is all I really want. If you leave me, I won't have anyone else. Your stomach began to hurt and clenched your fists tight. Leandros brought up a hand to your cheek and wiped away a tear. You wanted to turn away, but you were gently urged to look into his eyes. Jake, you're strong. I know that having watched, I know that having watched over you for so long. It's only because of this that once this whole war is over, I can be at peace knowing you are still you will be safe. You've grown into a fine young man, so different from me and your father. I could never have made this decision if I didn't think that you would be that you would grow into a Kai, to a wise, kind, and just ruler like your father was. And I plan to make sure that before I go, you will have no trouble ruling over your kingdom. This war is just starting, but I will not leave your side till your enemies have been slain by my blade. This will be my final duty as your king's guard. Protect you from your enemies in this war. Or die trying. You wished you wouldn't have spoken so grimly, but it was the truth of the reality you were in now. Assassins nearly killed you, and while war was not something that had been seen in centuries, you knew this one would not be without an ocean of spilled blood. Second, y'all. It is water time. A king's guard was someone who would protect their king. Their life from being anointed had no other purpose. It was viewed as an honor to be able to die for the royal family, but you couldn't bear to see someone else you love die. Then, if you're planning on leaving me, at least let me spend my little days I have left with you. If you're planning on going to Renero, I'm not going to be left behind. Jake, you know I can't let you do that. This island is the safest place for you right now. I want you to wait here until I return. And when will that be? Weeks? Months? Years? However long it takes to the end of this war. Then I am to wait and let everyone fight this war for me? Spill blood just for a single human? You are the king. If the people deem me as their king. If we win the war, just, just what do I say to the people? That I, the brave king of Yusan, was tucked away on the island far from the throes of war and my subjects were slaughtered to keep me safe? If you say that me being king is so important, then how do you convince the people? Will you tell them lies? Tell them that it was I that had dealt the killing blow to the enemy? There'll be people out there who will know the truth. People who would use that knowledge to slander my name. I will have no right to rule when I return back to Havana to reclaim the throne upon the corpses of my subjects. Let me come with you. You know why I can't do that. Why? Because it's dangerous. You mean because I'm a liability? I never said that. But you were thinking about it. I can take care of myself. I've said that a thousand times. I've done so for 20 years. All right, I'm going to pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. I'm tired, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and head out. Y'all have a good one. I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.